Okay, so here we have a scientific notation question, and what we're doing is finding the product or multiplying our numbers that are written in scientific notation. So what do we do? Well, 8.4 and 4.2 and 10.8 and 10.3 are all being multiplied, and that's wonderful, right? When you're multiplying, and you're only multiplying or you're only adding, you can use the commutative and associative properties to really do whatever you want, to regroup, right, and, and change this in any way you need to. So what do we do? Well, I'm going to regroup and reorder. So I'm going to say, let's multiply these two numbers first. All right, 8.4 times 4.2. That's going to be one group. And then we have 10.8 and 10 point, uh, 10 to the 8th and 10 to the 3rd. We're going to multiply those. All right, and this is all tied together by multiplication. So that being said, here, 10 to the 8th times 10 to the 3rd is 10 to the 11th. All right, add those exponents. Here, if you're feeling overwhelmed by this, we can set it up over here, or we can use a calculator, but let's just go over the multiplication for fun. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 8, 16. Add a placeholder. 4 times 4 is 16. Carry the 1. 4 times 8, 32. Plus 1, 33. Add them up. What do we get? 8, 2, 1, 5, 3. And yet, these are two numbers. I, I treated them like 84 times 42, right? But really, they're both 10 times smaller than 84, and... Uh, 8.4 is 10 times smaller than 84, and 4.2 is 10 times smaller than 42. Altogether, it's 10 times and 10 times smaller. It's 100 times smaller. Or you can look at the trick, count the right, count the number of digits that are before the decimal, and that is how far your decimal will move. So here there are two digits before the decimal, 1, 2. In other words, take 35.28 and divide it by 100. Right, 30, uh, take 30... 3528, 3528 divided by 100. So 3520 is way too large. You divide it by 100 to scale it back to deal with the numbers we have here. Okay, I'm rambling. Anyway, so we have 35.28. And we're basically done, except to think about the fact that this number here is too large for scientific notation. So we divide it by 10, right? You always are going to divide or multiply by 10. I'm going to write that as multiplying by 1 tenth. Same thing as dividing by 10. But with multiplication, you have a lot more flexibility. If you're going to divide by 10, you want to balance it and multiply by 10. Right? You don't want to change the value here. Anyway, so 35.28 becomes 3.528. We're just dividing by 10. That means we're moving the decimal to the left. Here, we're multiplying 10 to the 11th by 10, and it gives you 10 to the 12th. And we're done. We have our answer in scientific notation. All right, thanks.